So today I want to film my end of the year TBR book tag. So all the books that are still in my TBR before the year ends that I still have to really read. So I'm really excited to film this right now and I've seen so many people film it and do it and it's been so fun watching all the videos. So I'm just really excited to show you all of my books that are still on my TBR playlist. We are just already like it's the middle of November which is absolutely fucking insane. And um, yeah, I'm trying to not to have a crisis about it, but it's okay. So the first, first, the first question we have is, are there any books you need to finish before the end of the year? So I'm a person who literally can't start a book and then not finish it unless I'm like DNFing it, DNFing it. Um, but that hardly ever happens. So the only book I DNF this year was Bunny. <laughs> I really did not like that one. But um, yeah, so I'm not like having started a book and not finished it, but want to keep reading it. So there aren't any ones. Um, I mean, there are a lot of books that I still need to read before the end of the year because of my physical TBR, but not any that are currently in the middle of. Yeah. The next one is, do you have an autumnal book to transition to into the end of the year. There I have quite some that are quite autumnal I would say and that is for me the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. This book has been on my TBR for so long and I just want to read it before the end of the year. So yeah that one is highly on my TBR so I can finish it and get a feeling of the series which I'm really excited about. Recently I've heard some mixed reviews, so I hope it's good. I'm a little bit intimidated now. <laughs> the next one is The Silent Patient, which has also been on my TBR for so long, but not my physical one. I just recently got it because I gave up on finding the American um, paperback and just got the um, British one. But yeah, The Silent Patient, I feel like everybody has read it or has known about it. And I'm just really excited and I feel like thrillers or mysteries are just the perfect book for fall and winter because you can just like um, cuddle up onto a blanket and be all cozy while you're reading something kind of scary. And then the last one that I have is Babel, which I'm also so excited to read. It's such a big and heavy book. It's one of the only hard covers that I have because I couldn't find the paperback anywhere because I think it's still so new, but I'm so excited to read it. And it's like dark academia and stuff like that. So I think it's perfect for fall, I would say. And obviously winter, which we are coming closer and closer because I already decorated for Christmas because I'm so excited. <laughs> but yeah. Um, then the next question is if I have any new releases that I'm still waiting for. And I would say no. I think all of the books I've been really anticipating were released. I haven't read all of them yet. Like my TBR is so long. Not my physical one, but my in my head on Goodreads. Um, so uh, I really want to read like a lot of releases from 2022 that have been released until now. But um, if I were to say like some books that have been released like in November or something, um, then I would definitely say the one by Matthew Perry, Friends, Love and the Big Ter Terrible Thing, which is the author of Friends, of one of the Friends actors, Chandler, and he was one of my favorites in the show and I love him so much and I'm so excited. I really want to read this memoir. I also want to read the memoir of Tom Felton from Harry Potter, obviously. And from I Carly So I'm Glad My Mom Died, which has been also so popular. And I was just, I'm sorry, but the hardcover was just so expensive and I didn't want to pay like $30 for that. So I haven't bought it yet, but I really want to. So we'll see when I come and buy it. But yeah, these are, I think, some releases that are quite new and that I definitely want to read. And also that I've been highly anticipating. I think it's been one of my highly anticipated books of the year is The First to Die at the End, which is, I think, the prequel 
to they both die at the end which has been one of my favorite books from 2020 2021 i don't remember when i read it first but i love the book so much so i definitely want to read the second one hopefully this year i want to film that good sad book reading vlog and i have a specific book that i want to read in this vlog but i'm so intimidated intimidated by it if you know which book i'm talking about you know comment it down below but um yeah so hopefully i will read it and there's one but we'll see i think it could be one for the separate book, but i'm not sure because my december tbr is already very long so yeah um and then the next question is what are three books that you still want to read by the end of the year so I would say I definitely want to read, I don't know if that counts like as one book, but I do want to read the Shadow Me series. I didn't read it when it was like really, really popular in like August and September, I would say. I don't know. It probably has been popular longer than that, but I don't know. It just popped up back then in my thoughts. But honestly, the whole like set and books would have been like, I don't know, $70 and I was like, a little bit intimidated by that price um and i wanted to read like obviously all the books in one kind of because i love that so i was like mm, you know let's get it let's get it for christmas or for um nicholas it's one of um it's like a german holiday that we get like a few presents as well um it's on the 6th of december so technically it will be on my tbr for December, but I'm still not sure if I really want to get the whole thing because I have quite a few books that I really need to read before the end of the year, but I really want to read it. So we'll see, we'll see if I do that. But for my physical books, I would definitely say, like I said, Babel, I really want to read this year. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited, but I'm so intimidated. I would like to read, also read before the end of the year, just some Christmas rom-coms. Um, I don't have any yet, but I would say, for example, like the Holidays by Christina Lauren, just because I love Christina Lauren books. And if I don't read it in December, I think I have to wait till next year because I don't want to read those in um, summer or something. So hopefully I read some of those, but I don't know when. <laughs> next question is, is there a book you can think you could is there a book you think could still shock you and become one of your favorite books of the year and i'm currently reading the invisible life of eddie larue and i think it could become one of my favorite books and right now it's like a little bit slow to get into i would say and it's very sad to be honest but i really like it so maybe we'll see and also i think babel could be happening because it has such a high rating on Goodreads, oh my goodness. And obviously the prequel, because um, I love I love just those world so much. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that as well. And oh my goodness, I just love those covers so much. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm so excited to put them next to each other. <laughs> And the next question is if I have already made reading plans for 20, 2023. And yes, definitely. Um, my goal is just probably to finish my TBR, no, my physical TBR um, as much as possible because I will be moving to the US for like six months. And I would like to come back and have no physical books on my TBR, otherwise they would have been there for quite a while and I can't bring any of them any of them to the US obviously. So I should read them before I leave. So I have zero. So <laughs> that's a bit of like high pressure, you know? Because I'm obviously probably gonna get more for Christmas because I love books. And then I so yeah, but one book that is very high for my beginning of the year is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow which is just so stunning 
I think also it has um, been um, I think it has won the book of the month book of the year like nomination I don't know but anyway, it's the book of the year by book of the month which I'm trying to say and I'm really excited because it just gets like five stars from everybody that reads it so I really want to try it out and another book that I want to read in the beginning of the year is just um, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn, Your Girl. I already read it in the beginning of 2022, actually in January, so I want to reread it a year later and annotate the fuck out of it because it's my favorite book of 2022. Until right now, maybe it'll change, but probably not. So I just really want to annotate it. Because I just love this book so much. And then I just want to get into the year with like good reads. And I have high hopes for tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And I know I love Evelyn Hugo. So I just want to start the year off very strong, <laughs> basically. And then finish off my t physical TBR that I haven't gotten around in November and December. Yeah. So now, the last question is if there are any authors that I would like to try out before the end of the year. And that is definitely R.F. Kuang, which has written Babel, and so because I want to read it and just try out his writing style because I've heard so many good things about it. So yeah, I really want to try that one. And I also really want to start um, the FF6, so I want to try out Olive Blake's writing style. And um, yeah, I think these are the authors that I really want to try out before the end of the year. Obviously, there are some authors from a lot of the books that I haven't read yet, um, any books of them yet, so I will try them out as well. But yeah, I just heard so many good things about these books. But yeah, I hope you got some good book recommendations of this video, and I could inspire you and maybe go through the question as well because it has been so fun thinking about like my reading plans for the end of the year and um i have really high hopes that i can read a lot of books before the end of the year and um, the pressure is definitely on i would say but yeah i'm really excited and yeah let me know your plans in the comments and i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one love you guys